hello there, it's Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got another great interview coming up for you shortly. And uh, but before we get into that, don't forget there's that subscribe and bell button down there. If you click on both, you'll always be notified of any new episodes coming your way. So I hope you check that out. And as always, if you'd love to leave a comment on the comment section, please go ahead. And if you want to uh, follow us on Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And uh, besides following us, you can comment the things you see there and even send us an inbox and talk to us. We'll, go, we'll be glad to talk to you there. And we'll be glad to talk to you on email as well, paulmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist that want to be on the show, send us an email and we'll show you how to do that. But we also love fan mail, so send us a fan letter if you'd like and we'll respond back as quickly as possible. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Orlando, Florida today, we have Ingrid Smith. She's a very talented artist. She's been around a long time doing the music thing, and I know you're really going to love her. And uh, we'll get to that in a second, but first, here's a quick word again from Galtar, the guitar made specifically for women. So uh, we'll get to that interview right after this. Ready in five. Galta, the musical apparel that fits any outfit. Galta, bringing heaven to earth, one gal at a time. Galtarheaven.com Okay, everybody, it's, we're back, and with us from Orlando, Florida, we have Ingrid Smith with us. Thank you for joining us, Ingrid. You're so welcome. I'm looking forward to this interview. I know Chris told me about you, and I looked at your videos, and I said, yeah, that's different. I like it. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate the feedback on that. Um, well, tell us a little bit about how it all began for you. I mean, I, I know you probably uh, started when you were a little kid doing music. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, just tell us <laughs> in your own words, son. I had actually a little bit of a crazy background. I mean, the thing is, I started music about 60 years yeah. ago. Like I told you before, I'm going to be 81 in two weeks. So, oh, God. I started, yes, as a kid because I was always dancing around, but I never wanted to become a singer, honestly. I wanted to become a dancer. I wanted to become an actress. I wanted to become a lawyer. I wanted to become a doctor, you know. That's really what it was. So mm. my mom, my father died in World War II. So my mom raised me up and my grandparents and they told me, you learn something decent. You know, in Germany, you cannot make anything until you're 21 years old. Then your parents can say, now you're on your own. And before that, you have to do what they tell you. So there was no music and no dancing and no other things. <laughs> okay. They said, you go to professional school, you go to work in a bank, you go to language school, you learn a profession. <laughs> That's it. When I was 21, I said, I did everything what they told me. I met a band and this band had an offer to go to Turkey and to Greece to work for the U.S. forces to the USO and they needed a singer because they had a singer, but she wanted to stay in Germany. She didn't want to travel. And I never did sing. Yeah, I never did. And I said, well, they said, we need somebody on stage. You can shake the tambourine so it looks good, you know. <laughs> so then I said, oh, well, I will learn a song. And I learned Unchained Melody. That was my favorite song. And uh, then I went on the stage and uh, the big jury down six seven people well you know judging the band who is gonna get the job to go to turkey and to greece for two years so i said wait a minute and i took the microphone and i said um ladies and gentlemen this is my first time i'm going to be on stage and singing and if i uh, make a mistake please don't boo me out because the band is really great <laughs> and i always can play the tambourine <laughs> Oh. So they were laughing. I was singing Unchained Melody and they were standing up clapping. And the band leader said after that to me, you didn't get a job because of singing, he said. But, you know, they told me you have stage, uh, what do you call it, stage uh, presence. Okay. 
And that's why you got the job. Well, and I was with the band for 10 years, traveling throughout Europe, working in all these crazy countries, I have to say, which I loved. I loved to travel. I loved the different cultures. And we were working in Italy and Spain and Turkey and Greece and Germany. You know, I mean, it was just, it was fabulous. It was the best time of my life. And um, it was great to travel with the band. It was great, the different languages. In Greece, I was even in television. Uh, I did so many things in Rome and Italy. I met uh, I met famous actors. I met Sean Connery. I met Elizabeth Taylor because we were working in a nightclub there. We were not only working USO, we were working also in, in hotels and in clubs. And the band was fantastic. And I learned a lot with the band. I learned how to play drums. And um, now, yeah, I was entertaining. I was speaking a lot, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> so, and then uh, all of a sudden we had a terrible accident. Uh, we all went into a river and I was the only one who really came out without any, uh, how do you say, any damage. Mm -hmm. And everybody else was very badly hurt. It was the end of the, the end of the, the band. I was 31 years old. I met a couple of years before my husband. He was a friend, an American soldier. He was a friend and visited us wherever we were playing. And he was then leaving the army and he was working in Norway and in Germany and we we just met after the accident a little bit, and I was just really devastated, of course, as you can imagine. And he said to me, you know what, you need something totally different. Maybe the music is not for you. He said, I'm going to go in Spain because I got a job. If you want to, just come with me. And don't forget, we were not lovers. We were just friends. Mm -hmm. And I said to my mom, you know what, he was always there. He always had an open ear for me. And I went with him to Spain. But you know how that is. You know, you live in Spain. You live in one room. You have a couple of wine. <laughs> the friendship became a little bit more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and not only top of it, I got pregnant. <laughs> mm. So I said, you don't have to do anything. I mean, this is, we stay friends, da -da 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 -da, even so I am pregnant. He said, well, wait a second. I have to say something about that too. Well, we are together and married over 50 years. <laughs> oh, congratulations and to you. Anna. When we came when we came to the United States, I basically stopped totally with the music for several years. Mm. We came to the United States. I worked as a, a tour guide for German tourists mm -hmm. all over Florida. And uh, then later on, I started making jewelry. That was a hobby. I loved that because when you come from Europe and you come to the United States and you see flea markets, it was something totally new. Oh, my God, people making stuff and then they're selling it. That's amazing. I want to do this, too. And I started making jewelry. And the next thing is I am in some big uh, jewelry store. I have my jewelry and I thought, hey, this is really great. And then uh, some people met me at a show in a hotel and I was talking with them and, you know, I was, was interested in anything that has to do with outer space and with astronauts and things like that. So there was a gentleman coming inside from a radio station. He said to me, you know what, I need a co-host. Would you like to work with me for a program called Beyond the Supernatural? I said, oh, yeah, what you want me to do? He said, you have to get me all the people we want to interview. There was a time when we had no phone I know nothing. You had to go to the library to find the people, you know, to get the addresses, the telephone books. And I did get all the, um, I got all the people we interviewed. We got all these people. And you know what? I just absolutely loved it. I loved it so much that I created my own radio show then, which was called Lifestyle in the 90s. Then I created a radio show, which was called Teen Spirit for All Troubled Teenagers. And believe me, Nothing has changed. It's still the same. It was 30 years ago. Oh. I was very successful to the point where we then, um, my daughter got married. We went to Orlando. And by pure accident, I met somebody from Disney. And I saw my jewelry. And I said, you know what? You can open up a business in our park. Oh. And I did this for 20 years until the pandemic came. And individual were basically released from the contract with Disney because, as you can imagine, it was a disaster for everybody. And then I was sad and I said, you know what? And I went back to the music. Mm. And, um, you know, nowadays you have karaoke, right? Right. That we didn't have that in my time. Mm. And I said, mm, let me see. And you know what I did? You never believed that. I met a musician and I said, I can sing a song. <laughs> I did a karaoke. You know what I did? I did Unchained Melody. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I, I have to laugh myself. <laughs> and you know what? He came, he came, he brought it to the car, got his saxophone, and he was playing with me. He actually was a book author. In the meantime, he died, unfortunately. But he became then my saxophone player throughout the music I actually did. Then I did win a prize at the internet, the first prize. Somebody in Austria saw it. And he sent me music. Next thing I found a studio, Frank Starchak. Next thing you know, bam, there I was again in all the radio shows and all the platforms. And oh my God, and the son of Dr. Trey, he called me and he said, you know what? I would like to have you for worldwide music distribution. And I said, oh, okay. And that, that, that's basically it. And then I went also, of course, in some oldies again, you know, I loved oldies. Like, you know, when I was when I was with the clubs, the Marlene Dietrich thing was really big, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I did a Marlene Dietrich song, and that what brought me to you through Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's quite a story there, uh, uh, Ingrid. Uh, I'm glad that you did that. And by the way, happy 50th, by the way. Uh, yeah on your anniversary there. Um, I know you mentioned a couple of times uh, the Unchained Melody. That was done by the Righteous Brothers. I remember, was, were they influenced? Yes, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And, and did you yeah. have any other influences as well? Or? No, I, I'm i thinking about it right now. I'm writing a book. Uh, I'm right now, I'm you know, I'm still, uh, I work together with some NASA sounds from, from the various different planets. I'm working on a book which is about chakras and frequencies and electromagnetic fields and I want to incorporate some music in it and with the booklet and of course with a piece of jewelry um, we have my my family we have two jewelry stores two crystal stores basically now here in Melbourne Florida and um, I, I love what I am doing and I combine both I combine my my how do you say my passion for the universe and the planets and the crystals, and I guess it was always there. And of course, the background I had with the radio stations where I had all, I had astronauts on the, on the, on the phone and everything. I had really some great people interviewing 30 years ago. Some of them are dead. Many of them are dead. And uh, many of my friends are dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I keep on moving, you know. <laughs> I keep on moving. It's the music which makes it possible, you know. Right. Uh, well, how can we find your music? I mean, I know uh, you got a YouTube channel, or at least you share it with a friend of yours or whatever, but uh, yeah. tell, tell us how we can find other music from you. Are you on all streaming platforms? Uh, do you have an official site? Do uh, have any CDs? You know, just give us a little demo. I don't have any CDs. You can find me basically on every platform. You can basically find me from Spotify over Deezer, over Amazon, and you find me under the name Ingrid Smith and many times also with worldwide music distribution because some songs I did on my own, I did with DistroKid, but some many of my songs are with a worldwide music distribution and you put the name Eclipse with it. Mm -hmm. When you put eclipse, like the sun eclipse and the moon eclipse, mm -hmm. I am eclipse, okay, because that's the way I am. <laughs> I have the transcendence and things like that. So you put Ingrid Smith in eclipse, you find everything. You find interviews, you find music, you find videos. I had 27 prizes just with a film freeform, with film freeway, not freeform. Film freeway, 27 prizes in two years for my music videos. I mean, as a winning uh, videos, and I am stunned. I am flabbergasted. I really am, you know. And um, I am, I am very happy. And I, I, how can I say? I was very lucky in my life. Mm -hmm. And the luck, the lucky. I think you know, with lucky, that some people say that maybe envy you, but I say lucky because I met the right people at the right time. And if something went wrong, I took it as a um, how can I say as a as a sign that maybe this is not the direction I should go. It's like you go in the wrong way into a one way street. You say, oh no, I think I made a boo boo, and you just went back out. And whenever something happened which was not right, I just withdrew and did something else. And I said it was for a purpose, and that's basically why I am balanced. You know, 
And I'm a Libra too. Good, that's why I'm balanced. It goes ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> okay. Well, and I have a good sense of humor and I love to laugh and I love fun and I love everything. But don't forget, I want to become an actress, right? <laughs> so right that's... Exactly. Yeah. Well, you can, like she said, look on all streaming platforms for Ingrid, Ingrid Smith and uh, download her music. I know she would love you for that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the video we're going to play now is Falling in Love Again. Now, that was an old song from, like, I, I, I want to say 40s, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe you Yes, get... uh, even before. I think it, it came out in the in the late 20s, beginning oh. of 30s, Miss Marlena. And I did the video. I did the video, I have to say, with my buddy, Thurl Hop. Thurl, Thurl Hop, he is a, he's a model and he's an entertainer. And he was also working for Disney. I know him for, oh, God, like I have, yeah. 20 years at least, okay? And we made it together. He said, you know, let's make a video about the Marlene Dietrich song. And I did a video with him together and the people really loved it, you know, because I put the little hat on like she had on, you know, he played the chauffeur, okay? So <laughs> that, that was very successful that way because it should be entertaining. That's all I can say, okay. yeah. Well, well, it is a great song and I know everyone's going to love it. We'll get to that in a second, but... Uh, uh... Uh, uh, well, well, just want to thank you again, Ingrid, for coming on the show. And um, anytime you want to come back and plug something new, maybe you can let us know and we'll have you back on a second time sometime. Yeah, I thank you so very much, Paul. And thank you very much for guiding me through the Zoom, okay? <laughs> I really appreciate that, okay? Thank you. And good luck for you, too. You're doing a great show, okay? Oh, well, well, thank you, Ingrid. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, let's go right to the song. Uh, uh, and uh, it starts right now. Speak English. Ah, I am from the Swiss of Liebe eingestellt. Oh. <laughs> In English. Falling in love again. Never wanted to. What am I to do? I can't help. Yeah. 